Shalom. Good day. Welcome to the Chai Academy. This is Rabbi Sachs coming to you from the Chai Center. So we, um, we're in the midst of a Holocaust series. Each class is self-encapsulated. You may see previous classes at thechaicenter.com forward slash academy or youtube.com Chai Academy. Today's class is called Never Again. Now, never again is not a cliche. Never again is, is um, you know, exactly when it was coined. I, I couldn't tell you, but it was sometime after the Holocaust. And the idea was that never again. There will never be another Holocaust. This is, this is Jews after the Holocaust saying, there will never be another Holocaust, there will never be another Auschwitz, there will never be um, uh, gas chambers, there will never be six million Jews led like sheep to slaughter. The problem with never again is it? it's really not up to the Jews. I mean, you know, we're... We're 15 million, I think, at a high number, 15 million. Um, and, and um, you know, uh, and then you have, um, you know, you have celebrities, an anti-Semitic celebrity, Gigi Hadid, and her sister, right? But Gigi has 66 million followers, and she's obsessed with, with um, anti-Israel sentiments and, and uh, anti-Zionist sentiments. Her sister has 44 million, probably the same people. But um, it's, not really, it's not really up to us if a Hitler comes. And um, it's really up to the world. Because, you know, after all, what could 14, 15 million people do? But, um, but what Never Again does do, Never Again does explain the, 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 the Jewish political behavior post World War II. And this behavior pretty much has lasted until recently. So let's start with the behaviors. After the Holocaust, there was um, the Holocaust ended in 1945. There was a couple of very difficult years where Jews um, displaced the Jews were in displacement camps um, all over and they had no home to go to and if they tried to go to their home they were you know, people don't know, don't know this, like a second Holocaust occurred. So people went back to Hungary. I, I, I met this woman. She told me she went back to Hungary after the Holocaust. Remember, she was in a camp. And she comes back to Hungary, and she knocks on the door, and the people answered, and she goes, it's my house. And um, they shoot her away. And then she's walking in the street, not knowing what to do. She, she thought she had a home. And she sees a woman in the streets of, of, of uh, Budapest or Pest or whatever it was. And, um, and she sees a woman wear one of her favorite, one of her favorite outfits, dresses. So she goes over to the woman and says, this is mine. So the woman hits her. So she lost it. She says, I don't have a house to go to. I don't have any clothes to wear. This woman is wearing my clothing. So she grabs the woman and she rips the dress. And she says, if I can't have it, you can't have it either. She was arrested and sent to, <laughs> sent to prison to, to cool off, to cool her jets, her, her heels. So, so there was, yeah, there were turbulent years. And then Israel became a reality. So, so um, the never again, and uh, basically what that led to was that Jews became very pro-Zionist. Jews realized that the difference between um, 1938 to 1945 Holocaust to there being a potential another Holocaust whether it's in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, now contemporary times, um, is Israel. Right? So, so um, and, and, and it's been proven, it's, been, it's played itself out 
Jews in, in France were, were getting attacked. Um, and, and it became, you know, there was just a scandal in France. A, 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 a Jewish woman, a, an observant Jewish woman was just killed by, by, a, by a Muslim terrorist. And um, he was let free because he was he was in drug-induced rage when he killed her. So no no jail time, nothing, just let free. Anyway, but the Jews were being... So do you know how many Jews have emigrated from France to Israel? And do you know why they emigrated? Because never again. Never again. They don't want to be just sitting ducks and, and being slaughtered by, by, by Muslim terrorists in France who are just out of control. And um, and likewise, likewise, France is not the only place that Jews emigrated to. Of course, when Israel first became um, a, a, a phenomenon, modern Israel, is the Arab countries kicked them all out anyway. But we're not talking about those that kicked out, but just those. Um, it, it's a place to run to. And, and Jews recognized it. He says that even if another Hitler crops, it rears its ugly head, right? Ahmadinejad, whoever it may be, you know, the nut job in Iran, um, whoever it may be, uh, there's a place for Jews to go. And that's why Israel is so vital and so important. And, it, and, it, and, it's, and, and there are Jews and it's maddening, it's enraging. It is sickening. It, it's nauseating. It's painful, and, and 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 it's beyond understanding and logic. Is that when when you when you when you hear of of of, of a Jewish person who 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 puts the hashtag hashtag Free Gaza, or you hear of Bernie Sanders, um, who's Jewish. Who, 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 who states that, you know, we got to stop supporting Israel. Today, uh, May 20th, there was just a terrible vote in, 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 in the United States. And Congress has so many, so many Congress people um, voted down as selling arms to Israel. Now, if you're not Jewish, I, 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 unless you're a rabbi and anti-Semite, I'm not going to accuse you of being anti-Semitic. I'm going to accuse you of, of just not understanding the dynamic, uh, willful ignorance, willful blindness, at best. But if you're a Bernie Sanders, I, 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 I accuse you of being a, 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 an absolute imbecile turncoat. Um, if you're a, uh, Omar and Taleb, I accuse you of being a rabid anti-Semite and AOC. I, I don't know what's wrong there. Jews need Israel for their very survival. It is, it's never again without Israel. It can be again, and it can be again, and it can be again. I'm not saying it will happen, but what I'm saying is it can happen. How do we protect ourselves from a Hitler? How? The answer is we have one country. It's not a big one. It's the size of Jersey that we can run to that is part of their mission, their charter, is to embrace the Jews from harm. If they're being persecuted, come on in, we'll take you in. They'll also take non-Jews who are being persecuted. What they won't tolerate is, 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 is terrorism. Um, so, so uh, you know, an ap apostate Bernie um, is really a treasonous and likewise, Jeremy Ben Ami is is treasonous, and and um, you know on my Facebook page, where I write about what, what what Israel is just trying to do to protect itself, and Israel makes mistakes. Um, I, I have these 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 Jews who who defend Hamas. It's it's unfathomable to me, because what they're trying to do is they're trying to curry favor. And it's an old it's an old trick that doesn't work. You know, the definition of insanity is where you try and do the same thing and expect different results. You 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 kowtow to Hamas, they're still gonna slit your throat if given the opportunity. They will. Right? So you have the people on my you know, who comment on my Facebook and you know, that to me they're 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 just trying to curry favor, and they and it's vile because it's 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 throwing Israel under the bus 
you know, for that personal regard or for that personal uh, replacement of, of whom they are. They're, 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 it's too painful to talk about. But um, that's what never again means. Never again means that we will not allow Jews to be persecuted in mass because thankfully we have Israel. Never again means is that we will never again be quiet. The world was silent when the Jews were going to slaughter. We're not gonna allow that to happen. And that's why we have protests. And that's why there's protests against the Soviet, you know, the against this, the, 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 the Soviet um, the Soviet Union when they were they were they're not allowing Jews to sell it to be who they are to 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 be Jewish, right? That they were they were confined. Oh, you're a Jew, you're a second class citizen. No, no, we're not going to allow that to happen. We're going to protest. We're going to be vocal. We're going to um, demand accountability. Um, Never again is why, is why Menachem Begin in 1981 bombed the nuclear reactor in Iraq. He said, if we don't bomb that reactor, and Saddam insane, um, he, he continues building nuclear warfare, nuclear, nuclear warhead, then Jewish life is in peril. And we made the pledge never again. So in 1981, which is the anniversary now, it's been 40 years, Begin approved a, a run against an, a bombing of the Ostak um, nuclear reactor in Iraq. Tonight, by the way, you can go to the highcenter.com and you'll see that tonight we're having, a, it's a free, free of charge. It's a, it's a interview with the commander who led this in honor of the 40th anniversary, Commander Zev Raz, who commanded eight, eight fighter planes who, who flew to Iraq undetected, flew very low, undetected, and, and, um, and um, they, they bombed the nuclear reactor. And at that time, by the way, at that time, the whole world was against that bombing. That was an unprovoked bombing. Right? They say Reagan was said they did what? Reagan was just like flummoxed. However, it was proven, Begin proved it to be the greatest thing that ever happened. Um, because Israel would have been bombed into oblivion. They would have had a nuclear bomb on their hands. So, so Begin was proven correct. And tonight, eight o'clock, Tonight, today's May twentieth, eight o'clock tonight. You can you can you can hear that interview live. Um, and and Begin said, "This is a fate similar to Hitler. I will not let it happen." So so um, and the world was angry. What's going on now? We're in the middle of this this another yet uh, skirmish, a uh, war, if you will, with Hamas in Gaza. Um, this is not a fight, Jew versus Muslim. It's not. It's not. This is not even a fight against the Gazan people. This is not a war with Israel against Gaza, Israel against, against Muslims. This is a war versus tyranny. This is a war of terror. And, and why people don't get it is beyond me. How Jews can knock it is beyond me. This to, what's going on now is Israel, it, Civilians in Israel are being shelled, bombed, killed, wounded, maimed by Hamas, which is a worldwide terrorized, terrorist group. I'm sorry, it's not worldwide. It's condemned worldwide. I don't know if Iraq or Iran condemn it, but normal countries condemn it. The United States condemns Hamas. And it's not civilians shooting other civilians. It's Hamas. It's Hamas taking money from the people because they're terrorists and they are bombing civilians in Israel. And Israel has the Iron Dome. Can't capture every rocket. And Israel says, no, never again. You're not going to do that to our people. So Israel fight back. 
and they condemn for fighting back, but they don't indiscriminately kill civilians. There may be collateral damage, and that's ho horrible. I don't want one innocent Muslim to die with the same fervor and feeling as I don't want one innocent Israeli to die. It's terrible that it happens. But they got to deal with it. They got to root out these Hamas terrorists. They, they, they've sent so far over 4,000 rockets into Israel, indiscriminately into Israel. They've destroyed homes, they've destroyed farms, they've destroyed lives, they've, they've killed people, mm. soldiers, civilians. Um, and and um, it, 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 is, it, it is terrible. So what does Israel do? They respond. They call it the roof knock. They knock on the, on the roof with, a, with, a, with, a, with an explosive. And it says, okay, you got 15 minutes, you got an hour vacate because this building's coming down because this building is a hospital or preschool or, or a or, or a residential apartment building but from the windows Hamas is shooting rockets and 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 and, and you can see it you can go on Facebook and you can see it that that they knock on the roof with it with a mild explosive and then they come again to knock it down and if they see children playing nearby, if they feel that the building is not empty, they don't strike. If it's empty and it's safe, they do strike because that's way that's one way to get the rocket launchers destroyed. Um, and and you see this countless countless of times now. So even in their panic of never again, they are still so careful about what they do. But yet you have the AOCs and the Talebs and the Omars and the Coopers and the, uh, Coopers and the, the, the Amanpours of the world condemn Israel time and time again. If there were bombs being sent to Washington, D.C. or New York, what would the United States do? To quote Bibi Netanyahu, you know damn well what they would do. And this is what's happening right now. It, it, it's, um, it's unfortunate, but it has to be stopped. It must be stopped. It's not a choice. Um, and, and to the Jews that condemn me for speaking out, shame on them. Disgusted. It's vile. It's evil. And that's what this is. This is a war of good over evil, or evil over good, and evil right now is winning. But it won't win forever. And, and um, it's, 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 Israel is fighting for its very survival. It's not fighting for a plot of land. It's ready to give away land. And by the way, I think that proves it's not an apartheid state. Muslims have increased in their numbers, in, in their ownerships of land, in their academic pursuits. It's not, it's not apartheid, it's ridiculous. Israel, has withdrawn from Gaza. It has no interest in a war with Gaza, but it needs to defend itself. There is a claim, there's an argument out there. Oh, yes, Israel has the Iron Dome. What does poor Gaza have? Iron Dome is not foolproof. It's not guaranteed, but what Gaza has is foolproof. It is guaranteed. Don't send a rocket from Gaza, and then you can be guaranteed thousands of percent that Israel will not strike. It's foolproof. Israel will not strike at Gaza. They have no interest. They've withdrawn. Gaza is ru ruled by Gazans, not ruled by Israel. Israel has no issue with Gaza. Do what the hell you want in Gaza. Just don't send rockets from us to onto us, and we will not we will not send, we will not retaliate. We will not defend ourselves. It's much better than the Iron Dome. Never again is to make sure that there's military strength in Israel. Never again is to make sure that we're not powerless to defend ourselves. Never again is to make sure that the innocent are not killed because it, 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 it is just because people didn't care. That's what never again means. And it's, 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 it's important now. And, and we're, 
Jews were, all Jews were pro-Zionist in 1948. Why, why are you, what do you think has changed? What do you think has changed? You think there's less anti-Semites out there because a couple of Jews made it? Because you have a, a, a Zuckerberg on Facebook who, 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 um, who takes down posts that he doesn't like? Do you think that's going to protect you? Do you think condemning Israel is going to protect you? Interesting to note that non-Jews have picked up on the term never again. You know, in, in, in the 1990s, there was there was a bunch of um, blacks that were killed um, in in um, in Howard Beach. Terrible story by a bunch of whites. Terrible story. They chased this black kid onto, onto a highway, if you remember, onto the uh, the Bell Parkway, I think. It was horrific, horrific. It was terrible, terrible. Farrakhan, the anti-Semite Farrakhan, he actually said. We should use the term never again. We should borrow from the Jewish playbook and never again, that this never happens again. And he's right. He's not right in his anti-Semitic garbage, but he's right, never again. Why should anybody? For the record, because I was asked this, for the record, I, I have no hatred at all towards Muslims. Right, my, my, my daughter went through a sickness, a terrible sickness, and uh, in hospital for a very long time. And during a time in hospital, I met people from all types and creeds and religions and faiths. Some of my closest people who I leaned on and they leaned on me were, were, were Muslims from Dubai, from Egypt. I don't have a, an issue whatsoever. I have an issue with terrorists. That's my issue. And if you're a Muslim terrorist, then I have an issue with you being a Muslim and a terrorist. If you are a, 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 a Christian and terrorist, if you're, you're a white supremacist, the issue is the same. And, and if you're anti-Israel, I have an issue with you. Yes, I do. If you're, if you're a Jew that's anti-Israel, I'm revulsed. I do, um, but I do not have an issue with Muslims. I do not have an issue with Christians. I do not have, do not whatsoever, none. But we need to have an honest and frank conversation. Never again means never again. Can't let it happen. Cannot let it happen. Please don't be a hate monger. Don't be a racist, but stand up for yourself. There's nothing wrong with it. Never again, never again.